This is James Fox with another video tutorial for Microsoft Access. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to run a query in Microsoft Access. Now, a query basically allows you to ask questions about the data stored in a database, and it'll give you an answer from the records in the order that matches your instructions. Now, for example, I have a table here which is a price sheet table for athletic shoes. And I have various categories ranging from the stock number to the brand to the price. Now I'm going to run a query based on different parameters that I set. So what I'm going to do is click on the Create tab and in the Query section I'm going to click on Query Wizard. When the New Query dialog box comes up I'm going to select Simple Query Wizard and select OK. Now I do have two tables in my Access database, but I'm going to select only one table, which is the Price Sheet table. And then I'm going to select the categories that I want to run the query for. The categories are going to be Brand, Sport, and Price. And then I click Next. Now you have the option of selecting a detailed or a summary query. I want a detailed query, and I'm going to click Next. And here you can name your query. I'm simply going to leave it as is. Now once my query table is displayed, I can select specific parameters to filter it even more. So I'm going to click on the Home tab, and I'm going to click on View, and select Design View. Now here you see the Query Design Grid. And the Query Design Grid has each field that you selected previously, Brand, Sport, and Price. Now I want to set specific parameters for this query. For example, I want to select an athletic shoe price that's greater than $100. So underneath the price section, I'm going to click in the criteria field and type in greater than $100 because I want the query to return all of the shoes that are priced more than $100. Additionally, I want to view all of the running shoes that are priced above $100. So I'm going to type in running. And those are the parameters that I'm going to set. Once I've done that, I'm going to click Run. And now my query is showing me two running shoes priced above $100, which is in accordance with the parameters that I set previously. And that's how you run a query in Microsoft Access. If you have any questions, please email me. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.